Courtney in her new position this year. She is the libero. And the Panthers and Kate Yazel put it down. There's Lindsay Zitsky for Jessica Wynn again, and she goes opposite way. Too hot to handle for Boston College. You can tell why it's so, so difficult. Blocked up front. And the Panthers get another point up front. That time it was Kate Yazel as well as Amanda Orchard teaming up for the Panthers in set number one. This is Saul Calvete with the serve. The Panthers will counter, and it's Maria Yenitsaridi stuffing one right off the block of BC. Let's see who will get the eventual point. It is the Panthers. And Kate Yazel again. 20 aces has put her first. Nice stop there from Zitsky. Orchard will play it behind her to Jessica Wynn, and that one is inbounds. Opposite way, just inside the line. Jessica Wynn. Plays it to the middle, and it's Amanda Orchard who puts it down, and the Pittsburgh Panthers will take set one, 25 to 22. This past summer, Gleason participated with the USA Girls Junior National Championships. They invited on the team, and there's a block on the right side. Kate Yazel, Amanda Orchard, both in the area. You see this again. We were just talking about the blocking for Boston College, but the blocking for Pitt has also been so solid this season. Impressive numbers from her this year as well. From that setter position. Touch over by Topor. And now it's win right down the middle. She puts it through. All right back over. This is going to be an ace. Lindsay Zitsky once again continuing her service dominance. Here is Zitsky off of the castle serve. Wynn works it back, and now it's over to Workman. She's blocked. Jenna Potts, Kate Yazel into the open area. It's Jessica Wynn over for Courtney Castle. Gleason will save it. And that one is through. Katie Workman serves away. Jacobson worked to the middle for Wynn, and she gets that one through. With the swing, another kill for Wynn. Leading she's, all attackers right now. She's done this twice now when she's come from the middle. She's just able to get the girls just right enough off to their side that they have to bend backwards and put their arm out. And it's almost hit or miss if they're going to get it. The way she's placing it around Boston College right now is really, really great for Pitt. At that time it was Brittany Pavich who couldn't quite get the block down. This time it's Mariah Bell. And a free ball is up in the air for the Panthers, and they stuff it down. When you talk about playing smart, it always has to be smart placement with hits, and Orchard definitely did that there. Set point for the Panthers. But first for the Eagles. They'll work it over, and Cleason with a nice play on the back line. They'll work it forward to Bell, and that one will count. That is set point, and now the Panthers go up two sets to none. Here's Jessica Wynn. Put it into the block, and now the Eagles will counter. Nice dive forward there for Cleason. Back to win, and she finds the back corner. She has had herself a game, as she is known to do. Wynn gets blocked there. Cleason's going to try it again, though. And Workman doing a nice job on the defensive end. BC, though, tried to work in middle, and they get stuffed. Uh, total. Uh, so I guess nine now to get to 1,000. Not sure if it will happen today or not, but either way, it just goes to show just how great she's been throughout her pit career. If it doesn't happen to say, I would bet it comes in their next, their next game for sure. Safe to say. And the Eagles in a desperate attempt try to keep it alive, but cannot do so. Jacobson and Zitsky, they split time depending on the rotations, but they both do a really good job at distributing as evidenced by today. I think we said there were seven or eight Panthers that have gotten a touch on the ball so far in terms of trying to get a kill. So they both do a really good job at distributing. It was Pavich trying to put one through. Pitt saw to it and worked it over to Casey Durham. Who gets the kill? So it is set point. Panthers trying to close out the Eagles right here. They have the two set to none lead, and it's Jessica Wynn on the service block. Eagles will set up. They're in trouble. There's the whistle, and there's the point. An error for the Eagles will end this one, and the Pittsburgh Panthers will win it. Three sets to none. Final set goes 25 to 11.